creating an alphabet game is as easy as writing the answers for each letter you are going to use and the questions if needed. You can also give a title to Ray, your assistant powered by artificial intelligence, and let it do the work for you. You can create a game with all the letters of the alphabet or with any letters you want. As a player, you answer typing the answer to each question and pressing the check button. You can also use the skip button to leave that letter for later. If you want a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit for each letter or a maximum number of lives. Let's go! First step, click new activity, choose alphabet game and register or login if you haven't done so yet. Once inside the editor, the easiest way to start creating your alphabet game is giving Ray a title so it creates it for you. Thanks to the artificial intelligence, Ray will create questions about the subject you provided and answers starting for each letter of the alphabet. Ray will leave the game ready for you to publish after you add, remove or change whatever you want. You can also give Ray a piece of text to create the alphabet game from its content. If you want to create the game manually, write the answers in each letter you want to use and press comma or enter. If you need it, enter the questions which can contain text, pictures or audios. If the answer contains the letter but doesn't start with it, you can change this here in this menu. And that's all you need to create an alphabet game manually. Go to the Info tab, make sure you fill the title and the description and press the Publish button. You can also change the letters, delete them, reorder them and add new ones. In addition to the standard alphabet game with all the letters of the Latin alphabet, you can create whatever you think of. One with the letters of the subject, with your company name, with the name of a loved one, or with letters of a different alphabet, for example. In the Options tab you have Lives, Time and Case and Accent Sensitive. Turn on the first one if you want to set a maximum number of errors players can make before the game ends. You can also set a time limit to answer each letter in seconds. When case and accent sensitive is on, the game will count as incorrect words with case related and accent related mistakes. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity, or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity. 